uh, lampu ni memang rosak eh. Tak boleh buka. Ni eh, lampu atas ni muka saya jadi gelap dah. Twist tu dia macam Ah oh, dia tu kat atas kan? Masa nak Saya muka saya pun macam tak. Kau oh, tutup lampu kat sini. Ada cerah sikit kat sini. Itulah. Okay guys, please write down your name and your metric numbers in the chat box. Hmm. Where is others? Just now I just have uh, 60 participants only. Where is others? Please call your members. Um, excuse me, doctor. There's something with uh, wrong with my computer, so I need to restart it right now. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, I give you time. Take your time, JP. Okay. Thank you. Terima kasih. Sama -sama. Uh, yeah, 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 Ibrahim. Uh, for the assignment, uh, we do it just two because, like, I don't find anyone who's don't have group, so I must do it by two. Okay. Is that okay? You and? Uh, me and uh, Muhammad uh, Nafis. Muhammad Nafis. Oh, uh, Nafis. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So, and, uh, like, I spend time to like try to find someone who's uh, haven't have not grown. So, so you I did. don't find anyone. Okay, okay. So just both of you lah for assignment two. Yeah. Mean? Okay. Yeah, assignment two. All right, so we're waiting for three minutes more, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I want to explain about your last assignment, I mean assignment three, okay? So I have to make sure everyone are in the class. So please call your friend just now, everyone. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank 
Ah, di rumah ini lambat sikit. <coughs> okay, hi, good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And apa khabar? Apa khabar semua? Assalamualaikum. Selamat pagi. Waalaikumsalam. Selamat pagi. Okey, apa khabar? I mean, how are you? How are you guys? Hmm. Ha. How to reply? Pardon? Zang, baik. Zang, Zang tahu? Baik. Okey, kabar baik. baik. Okey. Apa khabar? Kabar baik. Kabar baik. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Alright, so guys, today uh, we have to finish our lesson topic 7. And then next week, we have to finish all of lesson. I mean, the, the last topic is uh, topic 8. And then the next uh, week, we have to, uh, everyone, you have to present for your assignment 3. So what the assignment 3? Okay, so I will show you what the assignment three. Allah knows the thing I'll Okay, what the assignment three? Okay, before that, how about your test two? Is it okay? Your test two. Comment. Please give your comment. You can do it or not. Your test two. Easy or difficult? It was medium. It was good. In, uh, in the middle. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So actually, I did not show your marks for your test today because I'm not finished with marks. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Mana hilang pula dah astagfirullahalazim. Okay. Okay, guys. I hope you can see my screen. Okay. So now we are talking about your last assignment, assignment three. Okay, in this assignment, they have more marks than assignment one or assignment two. Okay, I mean assignment two, assignment three, they provide this 20% marks because of assignment one and assignment two, you just present, you just download, put in YouTube only, and then I, I have two markings, okay? But in this assignment, I mean assignment three, you have to make a portfolio and also you have to present in front of the class. Okay, so what assignment three? Number one, what you are going to do, you have to make one group. Make sure each group just have three or four members only. Okay, three or four members only. So I believe you already have your group member. So for Ibrahim and her partner, please find your group member, yeah, Ibrahim, because in uh, you told me your assignment to just uh, two members only, is it? Ibrahim, uh, try to find, yeah? Okay, so number two, you have to choose which one, the topic you like it. The first topic, we're talking about the interesting food and the second topic, we're talking about the interesting place. So you have to choose which one, not use both of them. Okay? Each topic you have to uh, present two, uh, I mean the two, two items, two things. When you choose food, for example, if you choose 
includes as your topic for your assignment. So you have to come up to item. For example, you want to present about the dumplings or maybe the number two, maybe about hot pots or packing duck or whatever. You have to come up to item from the topics. Or if you want to choose about the places, you have to give me two interesting places in your country. Okay, so you have to elaborate about the attraction now. And then please use this format to make your portfolio. The font is Arial's. Make sure Arial's here. Yeah? And the size is 12. And the space is 1.5. Okay. So you have to turn in your, uh, what we call it, your portfolio are in Google Form, not in Moodle. Sorry. Google Forms. Okay. So you have to turn in in Google Form. Okay. How about the link, Google Form? I will send you later. Okay. So yeah. just now, please complete your portfolio first. Yes, any yeah. question? Ada soalan? Someone want to join us. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's why I told you, please join early, yeah? Since I start my class, so I didn't see about the chat box anymore. So please join early next time. All right, so number four, after you finish your portfolio, so you have to prepare uh, for presentations. You have to prepare about the PowerPoint slideshow as a presentation, okay? All right, so about the, pre, uh, about the presentation, so you have to discuss with your group, lah, with your partner. You want to choose uh, the only one to present or all of you have to present. So I give you the liability. So it's up to you who want to be a presenter. Okay, so number five. Okay. Ya Allah, dia ni sini pula. Tak ya. My computer have a problem. I don't know why. Okay, number five. Okay. So make sure, okay, this is the most important. Your presentation must be done in Malay language. Start from the beginning until at the end. I mean, how to give me greeting, everything must be done in Bahasa Melayu, in Malay language. Assalamualaikum, apa kabar, selamat pagi. And then how to introduce your group member. Everything must be done in Bahasa Melayu. So you have to check, you have to make your script lah is your uh, present in the class okay so i will uh, assess you based on your pronunciation your vocabulary grammar and fluency so just now i want to share with you how uh, how to make a portfolio yeah this is the sample from the previous group wait yeah ni contoh ni hilang pula Okay, so this is the, the sample from the previous group, right? <clears throat> so you have to mix the cover page like this one. Okay, make the cover page and don't forget to write down your names. Okay, what? Okay, make sure you write down with a like name here, Nor Hidayah Ismail. Okay, this is my full name. Not Iman Hidayah. Okay, because Iman is, Hidayah is just my nickname only. So, please write down. Ramainya baru nak masuk. Okay. Alright, so this is the sample of cover, cover page. Okay, so just now, uh, I show you how about the contents. Okay, because in this group, they choose about the interesting place. So, the first, they are... Uh, sekejap ya, sekejap wait a moment wow. Saya <laughs> Saya rasa terganggu lah dengan lampu Saya tak ada lampu yang tak terbuka Ada lampu Semua dah buka ni je Saya dah buka dah, dia shock Saya rasa Bila saya buat Bila saya Sorry, dia Sorry, yeah, they have a problem with the electric city yeah, That's why I cannot turn on my lips. Alright, so look at this is a content. This group they choose about the interesting place and they put your pictures and then they put the paragraph. Okay, 
So this paragraph, they mix with their own. So you please don't get the, what do you call it, about the content from the article. And then you try to use the Google Translate to translate the article. No need, yeah? Uh, I don't want to do like that. Because if I try to ask you what the meaning for the sentence number four, number five, or whatever, and you don't know how to explain to me, so that means you didn't understand what are you try to uh, talking about. Okay, so I hope you can make the sentence, the paragraph with your own. So you have to discuss with your group. You have to discuss with your uh, partner. Okay, so how to make the paragraph? Okay, let me uh, show you about the tips. About the tips how to write down the paragraph. Okay, so this is uh, tips to write your portfolio for your assignment three. Okay, so if you choose about the interesting place, so I give you the, the tip, the first one, the first sentence, maybe you can mention about the location. Okay, uh, you can mention about the location. Okay, uh, for example, where is Beijing? Beijing is located at China. Okay, just the simple sentence only. Not bombastic word, okay? Uh, try to use the vocab that you had learned in the class before this. Okay, number two. Maybe you can write down the sentence about the jara. I mean the distance. Okay, how many kilometers? Um, the the place from the Kuala Lumpur. Okay, how about the long uh, kilometers? Okay, and the, the sentence number three. Uh, maybe you can say about the duration. I want to go there how many times I have to. Uh, take my time okay for example if i want to go to malacca okay malacca a one city country in the malaysians if i want to go there i have to take two hours if i come from kuala lumpur uh, let's see okay number four maybe you can write down the sentence about uh what the interesting place if i want to be visit there if i, if I want to be in there so what the, the interesting place I to go there, I can visit uh, another city, a small city, because they have a many historical city. Okay. And then number five, uh, how to go there? If I want to go to, uh, what we call it, if I want to go to Maldives, okay, uh, I have to ride a bicycle or I have to drive a bike or I have to take a boat or I have to take airplanes. Okay, so you have to tell me how to go there. And the last, maybe you can write down the sentence about the fun facts about the places. Okay. All right. So if you want to choose about the second topic about the interesting foods in your country, so where I can get the foods, the name of the location, okay, what the restaurant name. Okay. Uh, and then you can share with us also about the taste. You already learned about this, right? Masam, manis. Is it in the topic five, if I'm not mistaken? Okay. And then how about price? Because you already learned about numbers. How to mention about price. And then the food ingredients. How to make dumpling. The meat from the meat. Uh, what is it? I, I'm not sure about the ingredients. Okay. So, and then number five about fun facts. Okay. Why? I have to eat the dumpling. Because if you eat the dumpling, your memory, your memory uh, will be back. Okay? Ah. So you have to tell us lah what the interesting about your place and your foods in your country. Okay? Alright. So you have to present. You have to present your... Uh, present that, you have to present your assignment tree in week. 14. The date is 27th January 2022. Okay, 
same like usually class time. 27 January 2022. Please uh, take a note. All right. So that's all about your assignment three. Any question? Okay. How maybe you want to ask me uh, how about the time if you want to make the presentation around five to six minutes only. Not for each person, yeah, but each group. Five to six only because you, you just share with the two item only. Okay, so class, ada soalan tak? Okay, maybe you want to look at the sample uh, slideshow. Okay. Alright, so this is the sample. Oh, ni apa benda pula ni? Salah-salah. Ya, mana sample slideshow? Nah, this one. Okay. okay, this is the sample PowerPoint slideshow from a previous group. Okay, another class. Okay, the first of all, they make the cover page, they introduce the group members, and then, okay, yeah. So interesting, is it? They talk about the result permainan Yankari are in Nigeria. So what uh, result permainan Yankari? And then they tell us. Okay. Uh, and then this is the second slide because this is for the first and the second sentence. They put the number three and number four sentence and number five sentence. Okay. And then this is the second places uh, in Sri Lanka. Okay. They divide lah the sentence from the paragraph. Okay. They did not put the whole of paragraph in one slide because if you try to put the whole of paragraph in one slide, it's too small. It's difficult to look at this, the words. So you have to divide. Okay. Okay. So that's all. I was thinking finish already. Ada soalan tak? If you are not clear about the assignment tree, you can ask me now. I waiting for you. Ada tak? Tak ada eh. Tak ada. Ada or tiada? Semua silent. Are you sleeping? Everyone, are you sleeping? No doctor. No doctor. Can you give us the... um? Examples and the mm -hmm. exam what exam what can you give us the ex one example and um, um, the rules of the assignment in the WhatsApp group? So if we ah, forget, okay, 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 I will send the, all of the documents in WhatsApp group. Okay, so you have to refer the document, right? Okay, so settle, yeah. So let's begin our topic for today, topic seven. Hilang dah slide show aku. Okay, in this topic seven, we have to focus on two sub topic. The first, oh, I did not share. Siapa ada ma... Mouse lebih. Masalah lah tak bawa mouse. Mouse. Mouse apa tak? Ya. Hmm. Ya tak tahu masa apa tak ni boleh pakai kot. Tak bawa mouse lah payah lah nak handle komputer. Tak nak tak nak boleh pakai kot ni sini. Tak tahu kat mouse punya kot. Okay, all right. Okay, so class, this is our topic for today, topic seven. What topic seven? What to topic seven? We're talking about the locations. So location uh, in Bahasa Melayu, uh, in Malay language, we call it penyataan lokasi. Okay, in this topic, you have to focus for two subtopics. This is a very uh, popular in your final exam. Lah. Actually, in your final exam, 
most of the question come out from the topic seven. So please focus for today. So topic seven not too long. Uh, and we have to maybe I will um maybe we have to what we call it um uh ringkaskan uh, make a summarize okay in topic seven. Okay, look at the first one. Uh, we have to focus about the direction and the second subtopic we have to focus about the preposition. Just two subtopic only in this uh, topic seven. Okay, ini dah topic topic topic. Okay, so first of all, look at the table. Okay, I put the vocabulary there. Okay, when we're talking about the direction, for sure you have to know what the places, how to show the direction, how to show the object. So if I, you want to say on your left, so what we say uh, in Bahasa Melayu, what we say in Malay language, okay? So on your left, I mean is di kiri, okay? On, on is di, okay? Your left, your left kiri, on your left, di kiri. Please catch up about the pronunciation, yeah? I will call your name and then you have to read again, okay? On your right, Di kanan, di kanan, okay. Next to, I mean, you put something, you put something nearest you, okay. Di sebelah, di sebelah, I mean, next to, di sebelah. If you put the objects, okay. This one we call it on the cup, okay. So we call it di atas, di atas, not atasa, yeah, because most of students, they always say atasa, not without A and the end of the word. So, atas. Okay, so if I put the objects below the cups, so we should say di bawah. Di bawah. Okay, if I put the objects in front of the cups, so we should say di hadapan. Di hadapan in front of Okay, if I put the objects behind the cup, so we should say di belakang. Belakang. Okay. If I put the objects inside the cup, okay, I cannot put that. If I put the object inside the cup, so we should say di dalam. Dalam, not dalama. Dalam. Okay. If I get the object come out from the cup and I put it outside, so you should say di luar. Okay, di luar is difficult to say, so I have I just help you to put the vocal W, okay, the letter W. Okay, di luar. Okay, the pronoun is luar, but if you write without W, di luar. Okay, so in between, I mean di antara. For example, I put my hands in between my face. So my face in between both of my hands. Okay, sometimes they say in the middle is di tengah. Okay, di tengah, right? So I hope you got and try to memorize about the direction there because we have to do some of activity. Okay, so what the activity, I will explain later. So just now, please focus uh, the sample sentence there. All right, so look at the picture, you will refine what the meanings, the directions. Buku saya di bawah meja. Look at the pictures. What I mean di bawah, guys? Please tell me the answer. What is it di bawah? Hello, everybody. Are you there? Under. Oh. Under. 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 Yes, under. under. Okay, look at the table. This is a very easy, yeah. Uh, look at look at the pictures only. Then you will find the meaning. Buku saya di bawah meja. So my books under the table. All right. So buku saya di atas meja. What I mean di atas? Um, above. Pardon? Above. Uh, above. Above. I mean, above. Uh, higher. Uh, on, yes. on the table. Oh, okay, yeah. Above atas. Okay. Buku saya di atas meja. On the table. My book is on the table. Okay. Kucing itu di dalam bakul. What is it kucing? Kucing is what? Cat. 
cat. Yes, kucing is the cat. Di dalam. What is it di dalam, guys? In. Inside. In. Inside. Okay. Kucing itu di dalam bakul. Inside the basket. Alright. So, just now. Anjing. What is it, anjing? Dog. <laughs> dog. Add on yeah. presenter. Anjing. Yes, anjing is the dog. Di luar. What is it, guys? Di luar. Out. Outside. Outside. Okay. Outside. So, the dog is outside the house. Okay, Amir, I mean the name of the voice, Amir, di belakang. Okay, guys, tell me, what is it di belakang? Behind. Behind. Okay, so Amir behind the door. Okay, buah apple. Apple is the apple. Di hadapan. What is it di hadapan? Next to? Or what? Orange, yeah. What is it? The apple? In front. Yes, in front of the box. In front of. Yes, not to next to, yeah, because uh, last class or some of the student lesson next to the box. Is it no next to the hadapan is in front of. Okay, so continue. Ali di sebelah guru. What is it di sebelah? Look at the table, look at the letter notes. What I mean di sebelah? Next. Next to the teachers. Okay. And then, rumah itu di antara kedai dan pejabat. Okay. What is it? Rumah. Rumah is what? House. Rumah is what? This one. House. Look at the picture. House. Rumah is? House. 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 Okay. Uh, kedai. What is it? Kedai. Kedai. This one. Between? Between. Between. Okay. Yes. Kedai is I building. asked you what kedai Yeah, building, what oh. the name of the building Yes, yeah, stall or shop or mall Okay And then, pejabat, what is it? Pejabat The building uh. What we call it? Pejabat uh. Not bank Bank is still Office. bank Yes, office Okay Alright, so just now the direction is di antara. So what I mean di antara? In between. Okay, so rumah itu di antara kedai dan pejabat. I mean the house in between shops and the office. Okay, so now pejabat post. What is it pejabat post? Hmm. You want to buy a stamp, you want to send a letter. What is it? Pejabat post. You had learned this vocabs in the topics four, if I'm not mistaken. Pejabat post. Post office. Post office. Yes, post office. Okay. Di kiri. What do I mean? Di kiri. The direction, di kiri, what is it? On the left. On the left. Okay. Masjid is the mall. So, pejabat post di kiri. Masjid. Okay, the post office on the ledge of mosque. Okay, rumah saya di kanan restoran. Alright, again, rumah. What is it rumah? Same like this one. Rumah, what is it? House. 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 Okay. Rumah saya. Rumah is house. So, rumah saya? My house. My house. Okay. Di kanan. What is it? Di kanan. Right. On the right. Yes. On the right. On your right. Okay. Di kanan restoran Tom Yum. Okay. So, this is the sample sentence. How to mention about the directions. Okay. So, just now. Let's do the sum of activity. Okay. Alright. So, guys. Sorry. Yeah, because the picture is too small. I try to make the biggest one. Okay, before that. Just assume we are there. Okay, so everyone, please looking forward. Okay, not since uh, back. Okay, now we're looking forward. We see the town in front of us. So, okay, so I give you the questions. So you have to give me the name of the building. Okay, all right. So, school. Okay, because this is Malay uh, class, everything you have to give me. The answer are in Bahasa Melayu, are in Malay language. Okay, school. In Malay language, we call it sekolah. 
Okay, school. In Malay language, we call it sekolah. Okay. Alright, so the second one, barber. Barber. Okay, barber shops. In Malay language, we call it kedai gunting rambut. Okay. What barber shops in Bahasa Melayu? We call it Kedai Gunting Rambut. Okay, and then police station, look at the blue color, the blue buildings. So police station are in Malay language, we call Balai Polis. Balai Polis. Fire station. What fire station in Malay language? This one, yeah, fire station is over there. So we call it Balai Bomba. Okay, balai bomba. If you try to find the meaning fire uh, in this dictionary or uh, Google Translate fire, that's mean is api. Okay, api. I mean the fire is api. But in this case, fire give the meaning as a balai bomba. Fire station as the balai bomba, not balai api. Okay. The gas stations. This one, gas station. In Malay language, we call it station minyak. Minyak. Okay, or petrol pump. Station minyak. And then the orange color, the orange building. This is a factory. So in Malay language, we call it kilang. Okay, and then you look at a few of buildings. I did not put uh, the translation from Malay language because the name is same in English and Bahasa Melayu, like a hotel, still hotel in Malay language, bank is bank in Malay language, and hospital, still hospital in Malay language. So look at, we have a four building without names, the blue color, orange color, red color, and the yellow color. So we just assume this is a condominium or house. In Bahasa Melayu, we call it as a rumah. Rumah. Okay, house is a rumah. Okay, so just now everyone, we have, let's we do the sum of activity. I give you five questions. So you have to tell me what the name of the building. So the question is like that. Okay, I try to ask you the question is like bangunan apakah yang terletak di sebelah palai polis? So, Try to catch up what the direction I mean in the question. Di sebelah. What I mean di sebelah. Di sebelah is next to. See? Next to. So what the name of the buildings next to the balai police. Next to the police station. So look at the maps. This is a police station. So next to police station is barber. So what barber are in Malay language? Barber as a kedai gunting rambut. So, your answer should be right. Kedai gunting rambut di sebelah balai polis. Okay. Do you understand everyone how to answer me? Alright. So, I don't, I don't want to call your name. I want everyone to give me the answer. Okay. Please, everyone, wake up, wake up. Not sleep. Okay. Question number one. Listen carefully. Try to catch about the direction. Refer the letter notes. Question number one. Bangunan apakah yang terletak di kiri balai bomba? Di kiri balai bomba. Find your answer. What the name of the buildings? Di kiri balai bomba. What is it? 
fire station. Fire station. What fire station are in Malay language? Balai Bomba. Yes. Okay, Balai Bomba. Huh? Uh, bangunan apakah yang terletak di kiri Balai Bomba? Yes. Uh, di kiri Balai Bomba. I mean, fire station is not the answer. Okay. Di kiri Three Balai Bomba. Kiri is Kilang. Yes. Kiri is Kilang. Okay. Uh, di kiri Balai Bomba, I mean, on the left of fire station. So the answer is Kilang as a factor. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Okay. Second question. Okay. Bagunan apakah yang terletak di antara okay, di antara balai polis dan hotel? Balai polis dan hotel. Di antara. What I mean di antara? Between. In between. So, what the name of the buildings? Can you say that again, Doctor? Okay, I Please repeat again. Station. I repeat again, ya. Bagunan apakah yang terletak di antara balai polis dan hotel? Bank. Uh, bank. 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 Why banks? Why? Because yes, it's between hotel and police. Yes, because in, the police. because in the question I, I asked uh, in between police police station and the hotel. Okay, this one is hotel and this one is police. So bang as the answer. Okay, very good. Question number three. Bagunan apakah yang terletak di hadapan balai polis? Di hadapan balai polis. Gas station. Ah, what gas station in Malay language? Ali Bomba. Station Mia. Okay. Ah, di hadapan, in front of police station. So the answer is station Mia. Okay, number four. Okay. Bagunan apakah yang terletak? Di hadapan sekolah. Di hadapan sekolah. What I mean? In front of school? Yes. What else? What else? Uh, Barber, rumah. rumah in front of school is rumah. Oh, rumah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, Barber oh, still. I, I didn't... <laughs> you did not find. So I didn't the... think it was a resident. <laughs> uh, okay. I. Hmm. Sebab bagunan ni tak ada nama ya. Without name. Without the signboard. Yes. Yes. No name. So I. <laughs> And that's why I told this. you. Okay, that's why I told you at the at this uh beginning. I told we have a four buildings without the name, so we just assume this is a rumah as a condominium maybe. Okay, so the name of the building in front of school is a rumah. Okay, last question. Please focus. Uh, bagunan apakah yang terletak di kiri anda? Di kiri anda. Baik. Bomba. Balai bomba. Yes, balai bomba. Okay, what I mean di kiri anda? Uh, uh, what I mean, on your on, on, on your on the left. left. Ah, on, on, the left. on the left. Okay, on your left. Okay, so when I mean on your left, so the name of the building is the Balai Bomba. 
Okay, what the name of the building on your right? Uh, station Minya. Station Minya. What the name of the building in front of you? Kedai Gunting. In front of you, Kedai Gunting Rambut. Is it? You are there. Okay, you are there. So in front of you is Kedai Gunting Rambut. Okay, guys. Uh, last semester. In the final exam, actually, the question is like this. Okay, the question gives you some of the picture, like maps. So, you should answer all of questions based on the maps. So, you have to memorize lah what the meaning, uh, what the, the meaning, the all of the direction in the table. Okay, so you should memorize all of them if you want to uh, answer the all of question in your final exam. Okay, that's why I told you you have to focus about this topic, the directions. All right, so so far is it okay, everyone? You can follow or not? Or still yes. confused? Uh, yes, yes, we can follow. The direction is very easy. You just know what, what the direction and look at the picture, look at the maps, you will be answered that. All right, so just now the second topics, I'm talking about the preposition. Okay, so please give me the example preposition in English. What is it? What the preposition in English? Tell me. Hello, what everyone. Uh, it's up to you. Lah. If you have a many, tell me many. You just mm. got one, it's just okay. Oh, with, at, despite, towards, the phone, about, mm. like. Uh, so many. <laughs> okay, so many. Bagi, lari, wazamat. Okay, one more. Preposition in English. Okay, tell me five. Number one is what? In English. Preposition in English. To. To. Of. At. At. I. In. In. On. From. Okay. So, they are preposition in English. So, just now, same steps. The preposition in Malay language. But Malay language, we call it kata sendi nama. Okay? Kata sendi nama or prepositions. Actually, same lah. Okay? Look at. <clears throat> okay, so there are a preposition in Malay language and uh, English. Alright, so in English, if you want to mention about at or in, the function is you want to mention about the place. Am I right? You want to mention about the place at. Okay. For example, Mr. Ali at the office. Mr. Ali at the office. So how to say Mr. Ali at the office in Malay language? Encik Ali di pejabat. Okay. Encik Ali di pejabat. So at in this table, in Malay language, we call it di. Okay. At, I mean di. You want to mention about the? Places, for example, um, Sefi D Ampang. Okay, Sefi D Ampang. Okay, look at the next table. This one is still at. So, what the different at at the first at at the second? Okay, the first at you want to mention about the time. Okay, but in Malay language, you should use. Father, if you want to mention about time, if you want to mention about place, about place, you have to use D. Okay, for example, kelas Puan Siti pada pukul 2. Okay, Madam Siti class at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Not kelas Puan Siti D pukul 2. No, eh? D I mean about the place. But if you want to say Kelas Puan Siti di University Putra Malaysia. Yes, you can do that. But if you want to mention about the time, you have to say pada pukul dua. Okay, this is the different about the X. And then two. Also, we're talking about the place. Okay, where you want to go. Okay, adik ke sekolah setiap hari. Who is adik? 
is adik? What I mean adik in a group of uh, families member? Who is it? Is it father? Mother? Are you sure? Adik, who is yeah, it? Adik? Father. Not father. Adik is who? Try to answer sister. again. Sister. Are you sure sister? Yeah, yeah, younger, younger, brother, brother, younger, brother. younger brother. Younger sister. Yes. Younger sister. Younger than you, okay? Uh, because sister is kakak, okay? Brother is abang. So the youngest than sister and brother, we call it uh, dek. Younger sister or youngest brothers. Okay, ke. Ke, tu. Sekolah, what is that sekolah? The previous slide I told you. School. School, okay. Setiap hari, last week I told you. Setiap hari, where is it? Every day. Every day. Okay. So the meaning is adik ke sekolah setiap hari, a younger sister or younger brother go to school every day. Okay. So we want to mention about the place also. Mereka. What I mean mereka? Mereka is who? Okay, look at. If I want to say I am, I mean is saya. Is it? In Bahasa Melayu, saya. You, okay, you, who are you? You, that's mean is anda, awak, or kamu. Okay, okay, if you and me, so now we have two people, you, you, and me. So we are, we are, okay, so in Bahasa Melayu, we say kami. And now we're talking about the somebody and outside, okay, uh, the group people in outside. So we should say mereka or English say they are. Okay, got it. Who are mereka? Okay, so mereka ke IOI City Mall. They are go to IOI City Mall. IOI City Mall is name of the buildings, shopping complex or mall. Okay, all right. So now we're talking about the forms in English. Okay. So you can use uh, this proposition if you want to mention about the direction, place, time, or the people. Okay, but in Bahasa Melayu, it a quick bit different because if you want to make, uh, if you want to mention about the direction, place, and time, you should use the word dari only. Okay, but if you want to use uh, the word from as for human, you have to use the second word. Is dari pada, not dari. Okay, dari just for the place, time, and the directions. For example, dia bukan dari Selangor. I mean, is she not come from Selangor? Okay, Sefi uh, bukan dari Malaysia. Uh, Sefi again, sorry, yeah, Sefi, because I always use your name. Huh? Okay. Sefi bukan dari Malaysia. Okay. Dari. Because Selangor is name of the place. Malaysia also name of place. So you can use dari. Okay. If you want to mention about the time. Kelas hari ini dari pukul 12 tengah hari hingga 2 petang. I mean is our class for today start from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So you can use the word dari. But if you want to say uh, these pencils or this pencil from my friends. Friend is a people, place or time. Friend is the people, right? Friends, our friends. Because of the people is as a friend. So you should use the second word as dari pada, not dari. Because daripada the only for people only. Daripada. For example, hadiah ini daripada ibu saya. Hadiah, I mean, is the present. Okay. This presents from my mother's. Because ibu, ibu is a, as a mother's in a uh, family members. Okay. So ibu as a people, as a human. So we have to use the word dari pada not dari okay so the last one for the preposition for 
I mean is untuk in bahasa Melayu. Okay. Bunga ini untuk isteri saya. This flower for my wife. Okay. This flower for my wife. Alright. So guys, so far, is it okay about the preposition? Yes. Uh, just labibus yeah. only. The, at this beginning, labibus, labibus zaman, labibus zaman, safety, labibus zaman. <laughs> Where is others? Okay, Where is others? Huh? Oversleep? Everyone? Yes, yes, it's okay. Uh, okay, very good. Okay, so I don't know you understand or not. So I prepared to you the exercise. Okay, I prepared to you the exercise. So try to construct the simple sentence based on the words there. The all of preposition. I teach you. Di, ke, dari, daripada, untuk, pada. Okay. So how to make the sentence. Okay. Give you the tips. Okay. First of all, please uh, put the nouns first. And then follow by. Wait, wait. Followed by the preposition, prepositions, and then followed by a uh, noun. This or object. Okay. For example, about D. Okay. So, what the nouns here? Safi, Safi again. Sorry, yes, Safi. Safi as a noun, kata nama. So, what the preposition? D. Okay, D. So, put D. Safi, D. And then, you know, in D. Kuala Lumpur. Where, is this? Where are you, Safi? Kuala Lumpur. Ampang. Jalan Ampang. Jalan Ampang. Safi di jalan ampang. Then settle. Okay. So it was a very bit easy if you follow my methods. Okay. Ke. Same method. Put the nouns and follow by preposition and then put the objects for the place. Alright. So now everyone, I give you five minutes. Try to construct the simple sentence. I will come back at nine tenths minutes. Is it okay? Okay, yes. I, uh, uh, I will call your name and you have to read your sentence letter. Okay, bye. See you 10, 10, 9, 10 minutes. We're supposed yes.
Okay, class, I hope you're done, yeah, everyone. So, I call your name. You have to read your answer. I call one by one. Okay. Uh, Akib Tahmid, are you there? She's not here. Where you hung? Where you hung? Are you there? Where you hung? Where you hung? No answer. Uh, Lau Liao Meng Liao Wei Wei. Eh, ini group tiga. Awak group sepuluh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, Allah, apa tak ada jawab? Okay, Ahmad Rohedat. Ahmad Rohedat. Rohedat, are you there, Rohedat? Yes, doctor. Okay, read your sentence number one, D. Read your sentence, Rohedat. Mereka. Sido. Uh -huh. Pada. No, no, the word D, D, not father. D. The sentence D first. Rohedat. Uh, D. Yes. The preposition D. D. Mm -hmm. Mereka. Mereka. Mereka what? Sudah. Uh -huh. Pada. Uh -huh. Tengah malam. Okay. No, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, hear about D. Mereka tidur pada tengah malam. Where is D? Your sentence D, D. Uh. Finish or not about D? You say pada, you say pada, mereka tidur pada tengah malam. Okay, wait. The preposition is pada. How about D? Okay, uh, prepare. Uh, Rohedat, prepare your sentence about D. So, I call the another one. The next. Okay. Iza Yasra Pohan. Iza Yasra Pohan. Iza Yasra Pohan. Yes, yes. Okay, read your sentence D. Saya. Saya. Duduk di Selangor. Saya duduk di Selangor. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Your, say, your friend say, saya duduk. Di Selangor. Okay. Alright. Actually, this is uh, the good answer lah. Okay. But, okay. but now, I want to everyone focus about the preposition only. Okay. Ah. Okay. You say, saya duduk di Selangor. I mean, I stay at Selangor. Is it? I'm right, Iza? I stay at Selangor. I live in Selangor. Is it? Yes, yes. Ah. yes. Okay, I live in Selangor. Saya tinggal di Selangor. Okay. okay. I live in Selangor. Saya tinggal di Selangor. Okay. If you try to mix the word from the English and then you translate one by one. So for sure the meaning is saya tinggal di Selangor. But in Bahasa Melayu, okay, okay, saya as announced in English, 
Okay, this one is nouns, right? Okay. Nouns, noun, better. N O U N, nouns. To do as a verb. Okay. Or tinggal. T as a preposition. Selangor as a noun. Okay, kata nama. Okay. In this case, when we are talking about the prepositions only, so you just use nouns, preposition and nouns. No need to put verbs. Okay. Uh, why no need to put verb? You just say saya di Selangor. It enough to mention you are stay in the Selangor. Okay. Because this sentence and stand with their alone. Okay, saya di Selangor. Okay, no need to say saya tinggal di Selangor. But if you want to say saya duduk or saya tinggal di Selangor, the same meaning lah. This one is still correct and this one is still correct. But just now, we want to focus about the preposition. So, no need to put the verbs out there. We just put nouns, preposition and nouns. Saya di Selangor only. Okay, because... We're talking about the preposition only. Okay, is it okay, okay everyone? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. okay. So yes, uh, yes, Rafuhan, your your word is still, uh, your sentence is still good lah, is still alright lah, is correct lah. Okay, but now you focus about the preposition. Okay, the, so the second one. Uh, Nafis, Nafis, are you there, Nafis? Nafis, are you there, Nafis? Nafis, please answer me. Okay, if you not answer, I assume you are absent, yeah, everyone. Ah. Okay, IKIV. Uh, Yang Ming. Yang Ming. Yes, Yang... daughter. Okay, read your sentence D. Yang Ming, read your sentence D. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your sentence? Uh, you are not finished yet. Please tell me. I will next to the other person. Oh, uh, I'm not finished. Ah, uh, okay. If you're not finished, I okay, I will. Yeah, I will call your name later. All right. So who Junyan? Yes, Jun daughter. Okay, yes, read your sentence. Okay. Encik Ali di rumah. Encik Ali di rumah. Okay. Uh, it's too easy. Encik yeah. Ali at the home, at the house. Okay, Mulyadi. Okay. Mulyadi, are you there? Yes, madam. Okay, yes, baca of ayat awak. Bagi saya lima ayat. Uh. Apa? Uh, 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 apa? Saya taruh buku saya di rak. Again? Read again. Saya? Saya taruh, saya simpan buku saya di rak. <laughs> What does it mean taruh? Saya taruh buku di rak. Saya... Simpan, simpan, madam. <laughs> saya simpan buku dira. Okay, I told you no ha. need to put the verbs. Without verbs. Okay, saya. Saya buku, simpan. Maybe you can say buku saya di atas rak. Buku saya di atas rak. Ha. Because no need to mention about verbs. Okay, the second sentence. I need five from you. Saya mahu pergi ke Serdang. No need to say verbs. Oh, saya uh, D still D. I just want to D oh, only. Still D. Hmm. Still D. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, what the answer? Ibu. Uh, Muliadi. Kakak. Um, Mulyadi di universiti. Ayah Mulyadi di Indonesia. Nah, yeah. Ibu Mulyadi di pasar. Kakak Mulyadi <laughs> di bilik. Is it? What's easy, right? 
Is it bad simple word? Eh, simple sentence, right, uh, madam? Simple, okay lah. Because oh, this simple, is the okay. first. Ah, because this is the that's first level. Uh, okay, no need okay, to okay. give me I a thought, bombastic word. Uh, <laughs> I thought, madam, uh, need more complicated sentence. Uh, because this is the, the just first level only. Okay, you want to okay, see okay. your your. I know you are very intellectual. Yeah, believe it. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> I don't mean like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Yes. Yeah, Ibrahim. Uh, can I can I like put uh, D and K uh, together in one sentence? For example, uh, like I say, Ali pergi ke pavilion. D Kuala Lumpur. Ali pergi ke pavilion di Kuala Lumpur. Ke pavilion di yes. Kuala Lumpur. Ali pergi ke pavilion is enough. Okay. Okay. If you uh, want to say Kuala Lumpur. Ali pergi ke pavilions and then put comma Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Ah. So how I can like put D and K together or cannot? Uh, no need. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. So Ku uh, Kau Yu Ting. Kau Tiu Ying. Kau Tiu Ying, are you there? Qiu Ying, Qiu Ying, are you out there? If you did not respond me, I assume you absent, yeah, everyone. Okay, Nadira Mahardika. Yes, madam. Okay, give me three sample of the sentence D. Yeah. Mm. Saya. Tinggal di Bandung. Saya tinggal di Bandung. Same case with your friends. Okay. No need to mention about the verbs. You just say saya di Bandung. Only. Huh. Uh. Saya di Bandung. Uh, Alright. The next sentence. Give me three samples. Hmm. Number two. Rumah Faris. Di Jakarta. Di Jakarta. Hmm. Okay. Next. One more. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, what is it? Just the simple. I was thinking the simple is very difficult than the difficult sentence. You take a long time to think about the, the simple sentence. Hmm. Dan saya ayah di, saya ayah saya bekerja hmm? di Manado Manado okay alright terima kasih uh, Nadira Mahardika okay next Yu Huando Yu Huando oh yes mother okay read the second sentence about ke um Morocco ke uh, perpustakaan. Mereka ke perpustakaan. Very good. Terima kasih. Wang Yansen. Wang Yansen. Yansen, are you there? Wang Yansen. No answer. Uh, Oversleep, ya. Yeah. Sefi Muhammad Muhammad Mahdi. Me? Yes. Read the second sentence. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, um, I had something. Uh, K means two. So. I will say adik ke uh, balai polis. Adik ke balai polis, is it? Uh -huh. The younger sister go to police station. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what what they are doing there? She's lost. Oh, she lost. Okay, okay, very <laughs> good. All right, terima kasih, Sefi. Um, continue. Uh, Tan Hua Feng. 
Tak ada huafa ke? Sorry. Ya, yeah, yes. Okay, read the sentence ke also. Ke. Uh, uh, dia ke kilang. Dia ke kilang. Setiap hari. Is it? You want yeah, to yes. say? Ah, yes. Very good. Dia ke kilang setiap hari. Because she as a walker. Terima kasih. Okay, Jiang Ziming. Jiang Ziming. Okay, read the sentence dari. Dari. Uh, dari. What I mean dari? Saya dari Sichuan. Saya dari Sichuan. Okay, I come from Sichuan, China. Very yeah. good. Terima kasih. Uh, Li Weiwei. Li Weiwei, read your sentence dari. Saya dari China. Saya dari China. See? Uh, too simple. Okay, Zhang Ruito. Zhang Ruito. <laughs> Saya dari China. Same, Same as you. Same, not fair, not fair. Another sentence. Uh. Oh, uh, uh, Maya dari Jepang. Uh, Maya dari Jepang. Okay, terima kasih. Duan Ziran. Yes. Okay. Okay, Duan, are you sentence about dari pada? Uh, Wani dari Sarawak. Uh, okay, daripada, daripada. Ada, okay. Uh, pa, basikal ini dar, daripada abang saya. Basikal ini daripada abang saya. Okay, very good. Uh, Labi ibu zaman. Labi? Yes, doctor. Okay, read your sentence daripada. Hmm. Saya daripada dua puluh ringgit. Um, <laughs> you say saya daripada dua um, puluh ringgit. <laughs> saya daripada dua puluh ringgit. <laughs> Mana tu? Huh? Okay, can you write down your answer in text box? Labibs, write down your your answer in text box. Saya uh, saya daripada dua ringgit. What's your answer, Labib? Yes. Uh, read your answer in text box. Okay. Saya. Labibs, where your answer? I'm writing. Okay. Okay, so before that, I'm waiting for Gu Chiong. Gu Chiong, give your answer daripada. Oh, I'm here. Uh, your your uh, sentence daripada. Buah buahan ini daripada kakak saya. Buah buahan ini daripada kakak saya. Okay. Alright. So, Labib say, saya daripada dua puluh ringgit ayah. What do you mean, Labib? Saya daripada dua puluh ayah. What do you I mean? I wanted to say I got twenty ringgit from my father. But oh, I you want to get twenty ringgit. You want to get twenty yes. ringgit from your father. Is it? Yes. Ah, so, you should say, uh, you should say like this. Yeah, I put that in the answer. Okay. Saya Saya mm. Okay. Saya mahu uh, meminjam okay duit dari pada ayah no need to mention about RM. Duit is RM. Okay, ringgit. Okay. I want to get the money from my dad. Okay. Uh, so your sentence is very bombastic lah, Labibs. You just make it a simple one. Okay. 
if you try to make it the, the bombastic note in your final exam, I worry, I was, you will get the, you will uh, less your marks. Okay, the most important in your final, make it a simple one, but you can, you will get the full marks. All right, my babes, uh, I love your efforts. Okay, continue, continue. Chen Ziyi. Chen Ziyi. Yes, no time here. Okay, read your sentence about the... What is it? About the... About the... Untuk. Oh, sorry, Dr. Packer. Untuk, untuk. This one. Untuk. Okay. Uh, yes. A uh, buku ini untuk living. Okay, very good. Chen Yi Lin. Read your sentence, untuk. Uh, uh, you need to read your sentence untuk uh, uh. What the answer untuk? Uh, uh, Erpa adalah untuk saya Adalah untuk saya Okay all right. Uh, Huang uh, Hong Xia Shen. Hong Xia Shen. Okay. okay. Untuk still untuk ya. Hong Xia Shen. What's your sentence? Untung uh, anak saya. What is it? What a thing for your kids? Untuk anak saya. What is it? You <laughs> uh. have to mention the object first. This cake for my kids. Cake ini untuk anak saya. Uh, for example. Okay. Uh, untuk anak saya is correct, but you have to put the object at the, the front of the center. Oh, I know, I know. I, know, I got uh, What is it? Tell me again. Read again your sentence. What is it? Uh, 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 you have to you have uh, say the, the object first. Da -da 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 -da. Untuk anak saya, for example. So, what the thing for your for your kids? You want to give what? Uh, uh. Ah, the books, for example, the book. So, buku ini untuk anak saya. Just uh, now, this. Ini. Ah, buku ini untuk anak saya because you just said untuk anak saya. So, I did not understand. You want to give what for your kids? You want to ini. give what? Just ini. Ini? I don't know. Just, just ini. <laughs> In, ini untuk anak saya. Ini, I mean, with this. What the thing? Yes, what it yes, is. Just... Uh, what it <laughs> is. Uh, this is. This is for my kids. Okay, this is for my kids. So what it is? Uh, uh, what it is? Give a... Give a... You want to give what? Uh, give a... <laughs> the chocolate... Give uh, a... The chocolate... Chocolate ini untuk anak saya. Okay, chocolate still chocolates in Malay. Chocolate oh, ini I, I untuk know. anak saya. This chocolate for my kids. If you just say ini only, so um, I don't know what I I'm, I don't know what what you try to give for your kids. Okay, what the things? Okay, Shan Shan, help you get something, alright? You have you have to be clear. I see. I see. Uh, okay, Tuesday good. Uh, yes, doctor. Okay, read the, the words. Uh, pada. Uh, okay. Uh, saya pergi ke university untuk belajar uh, ilmu. Il, 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 il. Saya il. pergi ke university untuk belajar. Lurik untuk ilmu, ya. Yeah? Uh, saya pergi ke university untuk belajar. Okay. Email. Uh, Email. Don't, 
No need to, no need to say ilmu. Belajar for sure you will uh -huh. get the ilmu. Okay? Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, uh, hai feng. We, hai feng. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, pada. Pada. Um, uh. Saya, saya pergi tidu pada buku yeah. dua beras ma malam. Okay. Uh, uh, you go to sleep at the 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Terima kasih. Zhao Yuhan, read your sentence. Yes, doctor. Pada. Uh, saya pecing uh, pada buku apa um, pagi. Okay, betul. Okay, Ibrahim, word pada. Yes, Ibrahim, betul. Uh, your sentence pada. Pada. Uh -huh. What's your sentence? Pada. <laughs> Read your sentence. Pada. What is it? Finish or not, Ibrahim? Uh, actually, I don't know about this one. I do all of them, but uh, I don't. Uh, without Pada. Uh, yes. What is it, Ibrahim? Hey, or uh, Labib, uh, what is it? Saya pada airport. Saya pada airport. Okay. Ah, I have to correct you. Okay. Most of the student like a degree student, PhD student or master student. They always make the same mistake. Okay. What the mistake is? Okay. Saya pada uh, airport. Eh, airport what in Bahasa Melayu? Lapangan terbang. Lapangan terbang. Uh, lapangan terbang, I mean it's airport. A -A -P -O -R -T. A -A -Port. Saya pada lapangan terbang. Okay. I told you pada, you should use the word pada just for times only. Okay. Pada just for time only. Not for place. Lapangan terbang, airport. This is time or place, guys. Lapangan terbang is time or place? Place. Place. So you have to change the preposition. Pada tu? Uh, pada tu what? Dari, dari. Are you sure dari? Okay, maybe you can say dari or di. Di. Okay. If you say saya dari lapangan terbang, I mean you come from lapangan terbang. Okay. If you say oh. saya di lapangan terbang, I mean you are in airport. Okay. Uh, I believe if you say. Wait here, one minute. Hello. Okay, if you say saya dari lapangan terbang, I come from the airport. If you say saya di lapangan terbang, I mean you are at the airport. Okay, uh, I believe you try to translate the word uh, I at the airport. So, I at the airport. Okay, so if you translate, for sure the meaning is saya pada lapangan terbang. Because of, I told you, okay, look at the table, D in English is at and also father also at. Okay, so how to know what the best answer? Look at the object. If there are the places, you have to put D. If they are mentioned about the time, you have to use father. Okay? Okay, got it? Everyone? Yes. Ah. It's okay to say about body. About uh, body? Yeah. Uh, saya di Maldives. Uh, saya, can I say, saya berada di uh, Jalan Ambang pada pukul 8 pagi. Yes, saya berada di Jalan Ambang pada pukul 8 pagi. 
your word is too bombastic lah, Ibrahim. <laughs> this level just a, just a basic only. But your sentence is still correct lah. Okay. Alright. So, terima kasih. Continue. Uh, Han Bai Bing. Yeah. Han Bai Bing, uh, your, your sentence father. Uh, kalau saya pada pukul 8 pagi. Ah, very simple. Kelas saya pada pukul 8 pagi. Okay. Uh, Zeng Jin. <coughs> Zeng Jin. Your sentence. Uh, yeah. Aku pergi uh, mendaki pada uh, sepatu pagi. Aku pergi mendaki pada pada uh, uh, sabtu. <laughs> sabtu, okay. Aku, yeah, per sabtu. aku pergi mendaki pada hari sabtu. Uh, I go to hiking at uh, on the uh, Saturday, Tuesday. Okay, what is it? What did it? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. Okay, yeah. very good. All right. So thank you for those. Try to answer. Try to make it the sentence. It will be like effective. Uh, to answer in your final exam because in your final exam they give you some of preposition. So you you have to try to make a simple construct based on the uh, the word the givens below. All right. So next, I uh, have to ask him about the locations. Okay, so this is a question word. When you want to ask it about the question, you should use the word di manakah. I mean, it's where is blah 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 blah. Okay, so now I'm asking di manakah uh, labit? Labit, where are you? Labit, is I asking you di manakah labit? So what your answer? Rumah. Ah, so labit di Rumah. Okay. Labibs di rumah. Okay. Now I asking di manakah rumah Maria? I ask where is Maria's uh, house? So the answer is rumah Maria terletak di Seri Kembangan. I mean is Maria house is located at Seri Kembangan. Okay. And then I ask you again adakah rumah awak di belakang masjid? No. Tidak. Rumah saya di sebelah sekolah. Adakah kereta raju di sana? Ya, kereta raju di sebelah kereta Proton Saga. Okay. So now this is the last slide for today. Okay. So I give you the table. So this table, they have a vocabularies. So this vocabularies with the meaning will help you to understand what happened in this conversation situation. Okay. So Ali try to ask you Cikita. Selamat pagi. Boleh saya tahu di manakah bilik Puan Salma? Good morning. May I know where is Puan Salma room? And then Cik Nita said, ya yeah, boleh. Yes, you can. Bilik Puan Salma ada di Fakulti Bahasa Modern dan Komunikasi. I mean, is Puan Salma room uh, at Faculty of Modern Language and Communication? And Ali asking again. Adakah fakulti ini terletak di sebelah bangunan kau? Is it this fakulti is located at um, next to kau buildings? Ya yeah, betul, yes that's right. Bilik Puan Salma ada di blok B. I mean is Puan Salma room uh, at in the block A, tingkat satu level one, bilik cempaka biru. I mean is Puan Salma room her name is Cempaka biru. Selepas itu, after that, awak masuk ke pintu utama, you enter the main door and naik. Okay, go up to the first floor or tingkat satu. So, you will be found bilik cempaka biru on your left. Okay, so Ali said, oh mudah sahaja. Oh, very easy. Okay, I want to go there now. Terima kasih sama-sama. Alright, so this conversation, if you want to know what the meaning, please refer the table. Alright, so guys, like number 17, 18 and 19, they have just a crossword puzzle. So I hope you can settle with your own slah. 
Okay, it's just for fun activity. Alright, so guys, I was thinking we are settled already about the topic 7. I just talking about the direction and the preposition. So please be focused, try, try to memorize about the direction in the table. We try to you may try to make it summarize and then also try to understand about the preposition. What the function for each preposition? Okay. Alright, so I just I learned that. Any question about our topic for today? Are this I like? Guys, is it I'm talk alone? Are this what I like? No. No. Okay. Tak ada, madam. Tak ada. Alright, so I was thinking the class is finished already. So before I, uh, everyone uh, left the session, I would like to show you your, uh, what we call it? Your, your what? Mm, your exercise, ya Allah, nak tengok kata exercise tu pun Okay, I will would like to show you your exercise Okay, I just explain eh, what you are going to do Give me five minutes to explain Eh, hilang pula dia, Allah Allah Okay guys, this is your exercise. You will download from the Putra Blast. What you are going to do, look at the future and try to construct a suitable sentence. Just make a simple sentence only. Yeah? Uh, let the little girl behind the chair. So how to mention about the behind? Look at the table, look at the letter notes. Okay. And then number two, fill in the blank with the correct answer. You have to know what the function and then you will be fine. Uh, which one the best answer for each sentence. Number three, just complete the dialogues only. All right. So I will discuss the exercise next week. You have to share your screen page because I want to look at, I want to check your spelling and your sentence. Okay. Please complete it all. All right. So uh, everyone, last for me, please turn on your camera. I want to snap some of picture as a proof you attend my class. Please everyone turn on your camera guys hurry up Hi Fun Enzi Tuzikun Mulyadi Masih tidurkah kamu Mulyadi tidak buka, madam ah, buka kamera kamu tu uh, lagi atur virtual background madam Tak perlu filter. Kamu dah cukup handsome. Tak perlu filter. Ah. <laughs> okay. Look at the camera. Alright. Mulia di harga faster. Cepat. Pantas. Pantas lah. Enggak perlu filter. Mulia di harga harga. Okay. So everyone look at the screen. Look at the camera. Give me your smile. One, two, three. One more, one more. Okay, mm. because they have two ships. One more. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so many thanks for me. And see you again next week. Assalamualaikum. Jumpa lagi. Terima kasih. Bye-bye. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Bye, doctor. Okay, bye. Hey, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yes. Yes, Ibrahim. Uh, for the coursework, uh, uh -huh. I get like low uh, mark. So how I can make higher? So have like before because uh, the the semester start, I join the fourth week. Mm -hmm. You want so, to you want to know about the carry mark from the all of assignment coursework? coursework. Yeah. Mm. yeah, because I check in the SMB, I get like. 623 of 30. So like, I, I get shocked how like, is there any homework or something to do? No. Okay, actually not, not finished yet. Yeah. Uh you miss about the assessment, the marks about the assessment mark. Uh how to explain, yeah? Uh okay, I will send to you about the total marks, start from the assi mm -hmm. assignment, how many marks provides. Uh, how about the test? How many provides? Okay, actually, uh, 
I have done two assignments. Okay. The first one, like I talk about myself, and the second one, talk about going to a restaurant or place. Mm -hmm. Yes, you so have done everything. Just on two assignments until now, right? Yes, you have done everything. Oh. Don't worry. Assignment one and assignment two, you have already submit. Okay, done. So you attend for your test one and test two. So done. So just now we have to uh, focus about your final only. Okay, your attendance okay. is of just okay like that right now because you have uh, the reason why you join a little bit late because you a little bit late uh, register, right? Yes. Uh, so I put the, the mark so don't worry lah. Uh, everything is clear. Okay, that is so much, Doctor. Okay, Ibrahim. Assalamualaikum. Yeah, inshallah. Okay.